Pride to me means being part of a community, a community that's rich in culture and history, a community which is steeped in activism and protest, a community which has its own subcultures, um, and a community where I can go anywhere in the world and be able to connect with someone based on a shared experience of growing up, feeling slightly different from the people who are around you. It means being proud to be part of a community where we look out for each other, and we should all be looking out for the trans members of our community at the moment because they are facing a very hostile environment in the press as well as inequalities in health and in the workplace and um, scary statistics on uh, figures for homelessness as well as domestic violence. So I'm proud to be part of a community where we look out for other members of our community and that's a really important part of Pride and really takes Pride back to what it was in terms of its history where it was trans activists who really fought for the gay community and it's about recognising those aspects of our history and that's why I'm proud to be part of the LGBTQ plus community. Celebrating Pride 22 is different because over the last few years there have been members of our community who will have felt isolated, um, isolated physically and emotionally from other people they're able to identify with and Pride this year is really about those people being able to come out and to really express who they are in what they wear, in their gender identity and their sexual ident identity, being able to make their voice heard and being able to connect with other parts of the community. Um, especially for people who maybe were living in fairly hostile conditions with family members or friends who didn't understand or who were just against their identities in principle. It's about those people who will be able to come out to a safe space and to really experience the happiness and, uh, and feeling of being loved by other members of the community for being who they are. I think it's really important the college celebrates pride. There's always been a fairly adversarial history between the college and the LGBTQ plus community for obvious reasons. And I was proud to see that the college spoke out against the government's non-inclusion of trans people in their ban on conversion therapy. I think it would be good if the college also celebrated pride with a more um, activist approach and perhaps spoke out for the trans community more and dispelled um, the myths being portrayed by the, about, the, about the trans community. For example, the myth that the trans community are a sexual threat to society, which is being pummeled by certain newspapers at the moment, and it's similar newspapers who are doing this about the gay community in the 80s and 90s. It would be great if the college was able to use their platform to speak out for those people and to dispel that myth. I'm aware that the, the college has done the LGBTQ plus survey and I think it's really important that that survey has been sent out. Um, I myself am in a very privileged position, I live in London, I'm a gay guy, um, I'm white. I really don't face as many adversaries as, as other members of our community do and I think it's really important that survey is able to pick up on the experience of other members of our community who might face microaggressions or verbal abuse within the workplace or from patients or even on their way to work. I'm thinking of a, a trans girl on her way to work who is verbally assaulted or physically assaulted and has to get to work and then do their normal day. It's about how the workplace treats that person and how they recognise that experience and it's those aspects that I hope the, the survey will pick up and recognise and be able to provide, lead to more support for those people who are feeling vulnerable or who are feeling attacked.